Today, we're speedrunning through every Riddle School game, starting with the first one. Now, the speedrun will start as soon as we click on Start Game, and then right away, we can see what this game is about. Basically, we're stuck in class, and we really want to get out. So, the entire purpose of this game is solving a bunch of puzzles so we can escape school. So, we go through a couple of different places, like getting a feather duster, a hall pass, showing that guy the feather duster so he gives us a dollar, and then showing the hall pass to Richie so we're able to go by before giving this dollar to that kid so we can go into the principal's office, and then all all that's left is stealing the key to the school. So we can sneak in here, see our principal, and grab the key. He does notice, but we made it out just in time. And yeah, we're pretty much home free. I'm just gonna escape really quick. And there we go. That's Riddle School 1. Now, of course, that was the simplest Riddle School game, and they will get more complicated as we go on. Like for this one, first we want to collect a dollar and then use that instrument to get through the class. Then after that, we want to get some different things. And basically, the purpose of this entire game is to get 75 cents. So we're gonna do a bunch of things to be able to do that. Like using this toilet paper and giving it to the person that needed it. Then he kind of just walks out and doesn't even say thank you to me. Kind of a jerk move. But anyway, because we got him out, we can now get the mop and go through here so we can get another coin before giving the mop to the janitor and having our 75 cents. Now we can go plug in the cookie machine and put our 75 cents in there so we can get a cookie and then finally give it to this kid again, which is going to cause him to move from the door. So it's finally time to take our next key, which we can see Mr. Mister and he looks kind of intimidating, but but we kind of just take the key and then leave. Yes, I really did just take the key. And yeah, pretty much after that, all we have to do is escape. And that is now Riddle School 2 done. So it's time for Riddle School 3. And this time, what we want to start out with doing is getting some chewing gum and combining it with our ruler. That's going to allow us to go on this vent and get this rubber band. So yeah, basically the theme of Riddle School 3 is combining two different items and using them to solve different puzzles. So we got the rubber band, which we can launch at Mr. Soggy, and that's going to cause him to lose his glasses. And to make it even worse for him, we're also going to steal his glasses because we're going to need them for this puzzle. Once we make it in the library, the librarian tells us to shut up, but we give him someone else's glasses and he can finally see. So he's going to give us a free bookmark, which will come in useful later. But as we go through here, we're going to pick up a penny because in this game, we want to get a total of a dollar. But then we can go in the men's restroom and put this toilet paper in the toilet. So the toilet clogs and then the janitor has to go and deal with it, which is going to mean it's a perfect time to go into the supply closet and we can combine our ruler and our bookmark together so we can get this dime that's on top of the bookshelf. We now have 12 cents. Now with that, we're going to pick up another penny before going to the right and going to this janitor's closet where we can take a quarter before checking out this locker. And we see that Richie is trapped in his locker. Unfortunately, he doesn't remember his combination, but tells us it's written down in Mrs. Oddverb's room. So we go down to the teacher's lounge and tell Mrs. Oddverb about that. And yeah, they just kind of awkwardly leave. Yeah, I don't know why they made this such an awkward scene. <laughs> but yeah, bye guys. Thank you for leaving me alone in the teacher's lounge. And while I am alone in here, I can look in the drawer and get another nickel. Now with this, we're going all the way to the left to Mrs. Count's room where we can get a keyboard key. Then we can take that keyboard key upstairs to Mrs. Flass room. And we can use the keyboard key on this printer thing. At least I think that's what it is. And that's going to short circuit it and then print out a button that says science rocks. Yeah, I really do not know what's happening, but we can collect the button and then go all the way to the right to get another penny, go in Miss Adverb's room and get the combination before going in this yellow locker and getting another nickel. Now the combination says blobbles, which of course is just backwards. So we can just use that to figure out the combination. Richie is now finally out and he's going to give us a quarter for helping him. He also tells us that he's collecting buttons. So we use the button that we got earlier and give it to Richie, which causes him to give us another quarter. So we have a dollar, which means we can finally beat the game. Now, first we're going to the lunchroom and presenting the dollar to Mrs. Munch, where we're going to ask for pudding. And this is like the greatest deal for pudding I've ever seen in my life. That whole thing was only a dollar. So now we can give the pudding to this kid, which is going to cause him to roll over it and then almost run us over. And then he also destroys the auditorium. So, I mean, that's kind of sad. But anyways, we got all the puzzles done. All we have to do is now tell the receptionist that we need to see the counselor and the counselor's office is actually really sweet. The dude's also literally just playing video games, which is kind of hilarious. And that means he's not going to notice when we kind of just swipe his key. Thanks dude, catch you later. So there we go, Riddle School 3 is now done. All we have to do is leave and we can move on to Riddle School 4. Now Riddle School 4 is probably the most interesting game in the entire series because 
yeah, it's already beaten. Riddle School 4 was basically just an April Fool's joke, but don't worry because it actually works with the overarching story. Because now we're learning that we've actually been captured by aliens and have been kept in a frozen state. Now, because I died in Riddle School 4, we finally woke up. So yeah, we're now on like an alien ship and we have to make it out. Now, right at the beginning, we're going under the bed so we can get an alien coin and then we can use that on this vent. It's pretty easy to screw the screws off and there we go, now we're out. After this, we're going to this tile device and basically Basically, I just have to use a specific combination to get all the patterns on the bottom of the screen to show up on this tile. Now, once that's done, it activates this statue, which will turn us invisible. Then we can go check out our fellow classmates and go do a couple more missions. Like in Smiley's room, there's a hidden door where we can get some meat. In this room, we can get the key card. And then we can go into this flower room where we're gonna get a tray, some soil, and a potted dirt flower. Now we can go all the way back out and we're going to be going into Zach's room where we can find one more screw. Now with this, we can combine the dirt and the meat and then put the flower on the other side before going to this panel and putting all the screws in and then taking the life force from the flower and giving it to the meat which kind of grows legs yeah this game's sometimes weird but there we go we now have that thing and we can take it all the way back to our room where we're going to use the key card we can then place the meat on the vent use this to turn ourselves invisible and the monster that's on the other side of the room is going to run after it so we can close the door behind him and finally make it into this room at this point we learn that if a child does die in their dreams, they're going to wake up. So we're gonna have to kill all of our friends. Now we get to go on this chair, put in some numbers and go into the first dream. Now this will bring us to Riddle School 4, which is Fred's dream. Obviously this was the dream that I died in, but instead of me dying this time, we're gonna try to kill Fred. So first of all, we're gonna go to Fred, ask if he wants our sweatshirt, but he's gonna say it's too warm. So we're gonna check this desk note, see that they're going to try to kill me. And then I can turn down the thermostat. And this time I'll be able to give him my sweatshirt, which then causes causes Fred to die instead of me because the teacher thought Fred was me. Yeah, it's kind of a weird sequence of events. But anyway, now it's time to go back in and this time we're going into Smiley's dream, which of course is going to be Riddle School 3. So we start this one out like normal. We get the chewing gum and we're going to combine the ruler with the chewing gum to get the rubber band. And then of course, we'll hit the teacher with our rubber band so he'll lose his glasses. But now we're going to tell Smiley that he lost his glasses and since she's a great student, she's gonna try to help him, which is the perfect time time to yeah. So we kind of just trip her and um, poor Smiley, we'll miss you. But now all we have to do is go back into one more dream. And this time we're gonna rescue Zach. And of course, this is going to be in Riddle School 2. Now this one also starts out like normal where we get the dollar and then use the instrument. This freezes Zach because by the way, he's always freezing cold. So we kind of just push him down. And there we go, another one down. So that's going to be all of our friends. And now all we have to do is wake them up. We go one by one, we talk to them and they take an escape pod back. Now, once all three of them left, we can also take an escape pod. And there we go. Riddle School 5 should be over, right? Well, except when we're flying back, we get captured. And yeah, now we're going on to a brand new ship. And here's where we see that all of our friends also got captured and they're all going to be behind bars with Zach also powering up a freeze ray. And here's where we see the main villain of the Riddle School series, Viz. He also mentions a traitor to us and then kind of just steals our key and then leaves. But we get to talk to the traitor who is going to be Diz. Now Diz basically tells us that he was trying to protect us because Viz wants to freeze our earth. And see, kind of the sad thing is the reason they're even trying to freeze the earth is because I skipped school in Riddle School 1. So they decided that earth isn't worth saving. Yeah kind of sad, but you know, it happens. Now the freeze ray is getting charged up and our planet is almost about to be destroyed. Viz also comes back, he kicks Diz out and he decides that he's going to leave this ship and go onto his own, which honestly is kind of stupid. Why am I the only one not behind bars when I'm the person that solves all the puzzles? But hey, I guess it has to happen for story progression. So we're gonna go through and do a couple more puzzles. For this one, we just have to match the numbers, pretty normal things. We're gonna take some toothpaste, use a coin to unscrew this faucet and and then also do one of these tile device puzzles. This one is actually a lot harder than the original one. So a big thing I do for this one is I wrote down the order that I do the tiles. It's just way too long to memorize and it really sucks when you mess it up. Now that's going to power on the statues so we can go to this light screen and just input the right code there, which is going to shoot out a mug. Now we can go back, teleport there and use the toothpaste that we got earlier to put the mug back together. Then we can combine the faucet with the mug and dip it in the lava. So now we have some really hot liquid. Next we tell 
teleport back onto the ceiling and use the lava on this wooden panel. And then also put our key right in there, which is going to cause the lava to close down. So yeah, it was literally like one of the easiest things in the world to fix. And there we go. We have now beaten Riddle School 5. Which brings us on to Riddle Transfer. We're basically at the end of Riddle School 5. We defeated Viz, but then we got captured by the CIA and we're now in Zone 51, which is basically Area 51. So we have to unlock ourselves first of all. We're going to input our own code, which of course I just already know I don't even have to do puzzles for. And we're going to get this creature communicator. Then we can go into this room where we have to unravel a bunch of papers and find an elevator key. Now we can go to any floor that we want and go over to this dude, which is going to be messy. Now we're going to talk to Messi and Messi is kind of sad because they used to be in a much better lake. We tell Messi that we can help her and she gives us the key card for the power room. After this, we can talk to the snowman who basically tells us he wishes he had hair and then go into the power room where we just have to do a short puzzle so we can rearrange the drain system and get Messi to go back to her lake. She's now so happy. Now, because we did that, we can take Messi's top hat and use that for later. After that, we're going up to floor three and we're going into this room where we're going to use this hose to get some chlorophyll. Now, if we place that chlorophyll into this tube, it's going to get Goatman to have a nice landscape. And with that landscape, we can now take a daisy. Now we'll go back to floor three and we'll see our friend Zach, who, by the way, now instead of being freezing cold, he's always on fire. And to save him, what we're going to do is give him the daisy, which he's allergic to. So he's going to sneeze and then he'll be free. We can now use his powers and we're going to use them right away for the flying pig, where we use his head to destroy the wooden plank and the pig can make it out pretty easily, which we can then collect the feathers and go down to floor one. Now we'll combine the top hat with the feathers and give it to Bigfoot, which will make him happy. So he gives us a keypad. We're also going to go talk to Smiley and ask her for the hairspray that's in her cell before going down to B1 and using this hairspray on the snowman. So he's finally fluffy and he is very happy. So he gives us a dice. Next, we can go into this room where we're going to see Fred and we can use the keypad on him. It's pretty much just using his combination and now he is also free. So all we have to do now is go and save Smiley, which we can use the game die that we got earlier and input her code to free her as well. So now it's time to go to B2 one more time and see this door who is very confused on how we all got out. So he's going to get very angry, but we can go back to the power room and turn him off. So we can now go through the door and skip a quick cutscene to see Diz here. Now we're going to use the creature communicator and then we have to do a couple of puzzles to save him. This first one is basically just match the pattern in the top left. So yeah, it's not too difficult at all. Doing it fast is a little bit hard, but we get it done pretty quickly. Then we get this contraption, which is the easiest puzzle of my life before doing this one where we have to solve a couple of math problems. It's also pretty easy. And then we finally have this one where all you have to do is not press the two buttons on both the left side and the right side and it easily gets done. So that allows us to save Diz and we can move on. Everyone is back together and all we have to do is go back on the ship. But the thing is there's a security alarm and Diz escapes before us. He literally just decides to leave us. Yeah, it's actually really sad. So we have to go back down to B2 and escape through there, which is going to lead us onto the final Riddle School game, Riddle Transfer 2. Now this game starts with some weird alien and I'm sure he's not going to be important at all. But after that, we get a cutscene of us being in the sewers. We're getting shot at by the CIA who we are legitimately like five years old. I do not know why they're doing this, but we made it through a door and they can't get through. So of course it's time to solve some more puzzles. First of all, I use this power key room to turn on the power and then we do this quick puzzle where basically we have to connect all of these wires and it's not too hard as long as you know how to do it. Finally, we have to input a password and then make the portal target coordinates the same as Riddle Elementary, which isn't too bad. All we have to do is go through, do a couple of things, and now the portal is on so we can jump through. Now we can see the very first game and how different the characters looked, but now we're going to a way updated art style and we're all back in elementary school. Now our teacher comes in and she's like, where have you been the past few days? Which we say that we got taken by aliens, but she doesn't believe us. Well, until this guy, the person who is at the beginning of the game, Quiz comes in. And he basically tells us that he is now going to take over the school because he was the next in line after Viz. So yep, looks like it's time for some more puzzles. Now, first of all, we look in the trash and then also ask Fred for his backpack, which we can make into something that kind of looks like me. After that, we can go into the hallway and go into Richie's class where we're going to take some chewing gum and get a math book in a locker before going to the janitor's closet, getting a bucket, going to the men's restroom and getting some soap and also going into the women's restroom, which 
Yeah, I guess that's what this looks like. So we take a gumball from there. Now after this, we're going to want to use the used chewing gum and have it go through the lasers so the gun is going to shoot at its own power box. Now we talk to our boy and ask him if he can move over, but he says no and gives us a dollar. But now we can give him a gumball and he's actually going to move over so we can go into the teacher's lounge. Now we give this alien the math book so he's distracted and we can take his eye drops. And then we get some coffee grounds from the cafeteria. Then we go back to Richie, give him the dollar so we get a glue stick, get a bucket full of water with the drinking fountain, and use Zach's head to heat up the water. Now we can combine the water with the coffee grounds and give that coffee to our teacher. This is going to cause her to freak out, so we can now open the eye drops bottle using whatever she's doing. So we put some soap in the eye drops, glue it back together, and then bring it back to the teacher's lounge where we get our book back and ask the alien if his eye feels dry. So he kind of just puts it in his eye and yeah. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for him, but it's finally time to get to quiz. So we stand on his desk and he finally notices us and we tell him that, you know, everything he's doing is kind of lame. I mean, instead of dominating the world, he's literally just taking over a school. Some low ambitions, honestly. So we ask him to take a quiz and basically we just have to go through and answer all the different questions. Eventually we get him to realize that what he's doing is wrong and he was never a true leader for the aliens. We go back, show who is in command and he realizes that he was kind of weak. Oh yeah, he was also the person that set up everything in Zone 51. So yeah, a pretty convoluted story. But finally, Quiz decided that he's not a true leader and he shuts off all the security measures. And there we go. For some reason, he's now a good guy. But in the distance, we see that there's a laser. And yeah, the guy that we literally just saved and left us for dead, Diz, is now trying to destroy the earth. He's kind of a jerk. So Quiz and I decide to go up and we're gonna confront him. But before we go, we tell Smiley that we actually think her smile is beautiful, which doesn't really mean too much to us because we're speed running and barely even talk to her, but it's a pretty emotional moment usually. Anyway, now we just have to do a couple more puzzles where first of all, we just have to enter a code and then that is going to give us a key. Then we have this first puzzle where basically we wanna make everything red. That can get done pretty easily. The second puzzle where we wanna match up all the shapes so we just go one by one until everything is matched up. And this third puzzle where we have to match up all of these things, there's a very specific order we can do, which completes it in only five moves. So now that all that's done, we put the key in here and get shown a self-destruct button. So yeah, there we go. That's the speed run. And basically, Quiz decides to click the self-destruct button and tells us to use the escape pod. So yeah, he turned out to be a great guy. But if we look on speedrun.com, we'll see that that actually put me in third place and I'm pretty happy with it. All right, subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.